everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and I'm here with this game called Toiletesia vs. Evil. And before we get into the game, I want to just give you a little bit of a um, background here with me in this game. Um, tonight I've tried filming three takes of this game, two of which I beat the game. And they both just fell through. They weren't good. One of them I was recording a screen for the last half of it. And then the other one I, uh... I tried filming it in at 60 frames per second. And you would only see, like, one frame. And then five seconds later, another frame. And it would freeze. It would be frozen on a frame. And then five seconds later, it would be frozen on the next frame. Like, a million frames later. So... Obviously, that wasn't going to be good for video. Um, and then in another take, I had the... They have the... The person who made this, they have this uh, option to give you an 80s filter. Um, and it's cool, but it, it's just like... You know, it makes the game screen kind of like... Um, an old VHS tape, which is... Like I said, it's cool, but... It made the recording take up way, 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 way more space than if you didn't have it on. I, I did test a test without it after that take, so um, since that didn't pan out, we're filming in 30 FPS. We're not going to use the 80s filter. We're just going to play the game and beat it, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, um, let's get into it. HD graphics, compelling story, well-written characters, voice acting, bugs-free gameplay, creative stages, engaging puzzles, breathtaking mechanics, intellectual humor, multiple endings. This game has none of that. Three warnings? Yeah, why not? Warning, this is just a short game made for a jam. I didn't have much time since I was busy with other projects, so it certainly won't be among my best games. However, I had fun making it, and I believe it's a short, fun experience, hopefully. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this game is full of shit, and I don't mean it in a figurative way. It's literally a game about a talking toilet who battles devil worshippers. If you consider toilet humor distasteful, or you'd prefer to play more intellectual games, I'm afraid this game won't be your cup of tea or toilet of tea. It also has a bug that I didn't fix because I think it's pretty funny. But that's not all. The protagonist toilet has jiggle physics. If you're okay with toilet humor, talking toilets, funny bugs, jiggle physics, bad jokes, swearing in the bizarreness, and I hope you enjoy the game. Activate 80s filter. No, screw you. Why are you so obsessed with the 80s? Uh, you can just say no. You don't have to be like mean to yourself like that. Activate mini toilet mode. A mini toilet will follow you everywhere. It will have no relevance to the plot, and it will make the game 100 times more awesome. In the last take, I didn't have the mini toilet, and I actually kind of missed it. And I'll explain a little bit more in depth about that in a little bit. AV Dossau presents... A game by AV Dossau. In association with AV Dossau. <laughs> Toiletesia versus Evil. <laughs> Hello? Is this the police? This is Toiletesia. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I need to speak to the police. The police? Are you stupid? I'm Toiletesia. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Are you a police officer? Oh yes, I am. How did you know? I hope you're not one of those so-called stalkers. Ew. I am a concerned citizen who needs to speak to the police. I need to report a crime. Oh, a crime. Yay. I was so bored. Okay, listen. I live next to a mansion, 
And there are weird people in robes performing some weird rituals in there. Oh, sounds fun. No, it isn't, you moron. These are clearly Satanists. They will probably offer a virgin to the devil. Oh, I see. They have authorization for that, right? Authorization? Authorization? They don't have authorization, you asswipe. What? No authorization? No authorization Satanist activities? That's a serious crime. <clears throat> don't worry, sir. We'll go right away. Okay, listen. The address is... Hangs up. <laughs> Not authorized Satanists. Those scumbags. They will pay for this. Press the arrow keys to move, hold shift to run. Did you get all that? Oh, uh, nice. No, says hold shift to run a bunch of times. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, this game is short, so. <sighs> okay. So, the mini toilet um, doesn't really do anything at all. You name it, and then that's it. And it just follows you around the whole game. You can fart on it, which is kind of funny, because you can have a fart button in this game. Which is pretty cool and funny, in my opinion. Oh no, I can't leave yet! But there are these, like, death traps. Oh yeah, because I was trying to leave to read something that was back there, but... Oh well, whatever. Um, there are these, like, death traps that show up near the end of the game. And especially uh, in, the, in the final boss fight. And uh, the toilet being... the mini toilet being there... Uh, oh, this is your save point, by the way. Um, the mini toilet can also get hit by the uh, death traps and stuff, and it can kill you, uh, which really sucks, but whatever, I missed it, like I said, so. A headless cultist lies on a couch. Oh, hello there. Enjoying the couch, aren't we? I also have a couch at home. I really enjoy taking naps there. Do you take naps in your couch, too? It's okay. I get it. You're too shy. I had a friend who was also very shy. I didn't even know her name or what she looked like. Actually, she wasn't my friend. She was just someone who called my phone by mistake. She didn't even say goodbye. Sometimes I really miss her. Look, I get it. You're shy. But at least you could say hello. You're coming out as rude. Oh wait, I just noticed you don't have a head. My bad. Hopefully there will be a head transplant in the future so you won't have to worry about not having a head. Aww. By the way, have you seen any devil worshippers around? Wait a moment, that's satanic rope. That's 666 tattoo in one of your hands. You must be... Yes, I knew it. You can't fool me. You're a... Heavy Metal fan! I'm not a fan of heavy metal, but I respect your taste in music. Good for you. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I have got to go. I need to catch some devil worshippers. Oops. More headless people? Is this in your fashion or something? Scary message, scary message, scary message! Yeah, um... Okay. Hello there, have you seen any cultists around? Oh, you're finally here. Your arrival was foretold. I don't understand your weird words. Yes, that was also foretold. Foretold? It means I already knew you were coming here today. It was foretold. Oh, so that's what foretold means. But who foretold it? It was foretold by the game script. The what? Game script, a document far beyond us, written by... John Boring. So, you are a cultist, right? Uh, yes. This is a cult? A, Satan a Satanist cult? And the headless people are also cultists? Uh, yes. And you performed a very evil and ghastly ritual that involved decapitating your followers? Uh, yes. And I was supposed to bring back an ancient demon that was going to conquer Earth and transform this world into a living hell? Uh, yes. But it didn't really work, right? I don't see any demon around. Why don't you take a closer look? Oh no. Shoot your gun by pressing the X key. Your gun has infinite bullets because I didn't want to make an ammunition system. So, yeah. So he summoned a demon. So he, so he summoned a demon and he was also transformed into a monster. That means that they are engaging in demonic activities without proper authorization from the government. And this is a serious crime. I have a toilet, so I don't know shit about how bureaucracy works, but I do know how to shoot a gun. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's time to kill everything on site until the building is clean. Then I'll get promoted. I love my job! actually says, I, I know shit, but I think what the author meant 
or writer meant or whatever, uh, creator of the game, whatever uh, meant was, I don't, because it made more sense that way. Scary message, scary message, scary message, scary message. Um, so I got my controller to work for this game, which is pretty great. That made me happy. Oh, here? Uh, you can't go here yet. Locked with a key. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna get a key that will allow us to go there in a little while. Okay. Oh yeah, and these things say die, 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 scare misses, scare misses, scare misses, scare misses, scare misses, scare misses, misses, die, 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 die. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse you, Toileticia. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Okay, whatever you say. Oops. Hey, what was that? I don't know. It was a mini toilet. Sure it was. So, this wall we can't get past yet. But we will be able to soon enough. In fact, that's the next thing we're gonna unlock. So we go down here. Kill a bunch of monsters. Uh, this game doesn't have a jump button, but what you need to do is just run or walk up to these, and you just automatically... Yeah. Kind of like Zelda, when you just automatically leap off and stuff and all that. Okay! Use the score. Oh, this thing you need to shoot it. When I first played this, I actually like didn't even know that, and I just was like, okay, I'm gonna need to leap over there, and like I just fell. <laughs> and so don't don't go too far over to the left here, because you'll fall. But you just need to shoot the ruby, and then you can go back. And then even after you shoot it, you still can't jump over there. I tried that too, so <laughs> yeah, good times. Yeah, enemies respawn every time you leave and come back. And it's actually a kind of funny little glitch. I don't know if it's a bu uh, funny bug that the creator was talking about earlier, but if you watch to the right for a second, you'll see them respawn right before we go into the next room. Sometimes. Uh, I guess not that time, but maybe it'll happen later. recording a black screen before. <laughs> there was a glitch where he appeared on one side of the thing. I don't know if you guys saw that for a split second. Uh, accidentally, it, 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 it defaulted to a new toilet and uh, accidentally hit that and then I had to do a bunch of stuff and get back to where I was. Basically, I had to close out the game and yeah. And my recording stuff was like, no, screw you. I'm going to record this other thing instead, not the game. Oh, okay. I was under the assumption I was recording the game, not one of my windows or whatever. Scary message, scary message. Oh, okay. I love the uh, laugh tracks and the cheers and all that stuff. It reminds me of uh, Scott Pilgrim, the part of the uh, Seinfeld. Uh, parody. That's pretty great. Oh, an adorable doll with sharp teeth, a creepy face, lower half missing, sharp claws, and murderous ideas brewing inside her plastic mind. Aww. I know exactly what that means. 
Tearing the blaster to pieces. Warning, this boss can only be hit when it's fully materialized. As long as the boss is in its ethereal form, it cannot be hurt. So, this boss and all the other bosses uh, have a pretty repetitive pattern. Except for maybe the... Well, I don't know. One of the bosses is kind of unpredictable, but... They do. It's these two, like, bosses that you have to hit uh, at very specific times. I'll, I'll tell you about it later if I remember. Okay, I guess uh, my controller's not working anymore. I gotta use my keyboard. Whatever, I don't even care at this point. Sometimes my controller will just unplug on its own, which is all really good stuff here. Uh, I can get to the keyboard! Man, I'm just having a great time playing this game tonight. It's like the universe is like, you cannot record this game, you cannot play it, you must not. And I'm like, why? What the heck, why is shoot not working? Hello, shoot. Oh, right, that's in the run button. I'm an idiot. I'm having trouble while talking about having trouble with something else entirely unrelated to what I was having trouble with in, in the thing I was complaining about. Ah. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, that's one boss down. Uh, Oh, a piano puzzle. I know exactly what to do. He's shooting at it. And then you get the uh, fat cat key, which opens that door that wasn't open earlier. And in case I didn't already miss it or it wasn't obvious, uh, where we are now is past that wall we couldn't get past before. Uh. Uh. Interesting. Come on. Uh. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, this is where the wall was. Little space invader wallpaper there. Releasing this on Halloween, so I just want to wish everybody a happy Halloween, and uh, hope everybody has a great time tonight, uh, or, you know, today, or however, I don't know what to call Halloween, because it's like, is it at night, is it day, because it's technically a date that's 24 hours, I don't know, Halloween's weird, <laughs> um, but I love Halloween, personally, which is why I want to, which is why I'm, like, let's, gotta get this video done, Freaking, even though I'm on my fourth take, <laughs> I really want to release this uh, on Halloween. So I'm like, I have to do this, I have to do this, I must do this. Uh, I just want to wish everybody a happy Halloween. Remind everybody, in case your parents haven't told, or friends haven't told you enough already, stay safe out there. Halloween's a pretty, pretty sleepy night, not just for like <clears throat> it being Halloween, but. Crazy people. Uh, the crazies are out tonight, I guess you could say. These puzzles are trash. 
So just be careful out there and have a good time. in my first take. Oh, it's a goat. It looks so fluffy and adorable. To balance the devil and being a devil is against the law. Warning, if you see a red flashing light, the boss will use its fire attack. The fire attack insta-kills you, so you have to search for a safe spot before it does that. Yeah, so this boss has a pretty simple pattern to follow. But you gotta be careful because these platforms are glitchy and buggy. In that, um, once you get up, um, even to the very top, if you try to shoot your gun, you're gonna have to move, uh, basically, in order to shoot. So every time you get to the top or bottom, and you think you're standing there like you normally would be, you're not. You, you're still the game's still taking you to the left. So you gotta move left and or right real quick. And you're good. Also, you need to watch out for that attack because uh, he can push you all the way to the end. And drain your health. Ah, uh, crap. See, it's happening now. It's just gonna shoot and the end too. Yeah, the gun won't come out unless you're like in the right spot. This is the best boss music ever made. The only thing that the mini toilet does in this whole game is if it hits one of the death traps, you die too. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I thought I had uh, I thought I timed that right. Whoops. I'm like, oh yeah, you need to be careful of the mini toilet getting hit by the death traps. That's the only thing it does. Run straight into the trap. Aha, look who's stupid now. It's me, lol. So you're blaming the mini toilet for things, and it's just like... What? I'm screwing myself in the bottom of this, lol. Oh, this will be anyway. 
Oh yeah, I love the music here in this section of the game. Also these, uh, paintings in the background are really cool. For the most part, anyways, this guy, I don't know who he's supposed to be, but he's cool too, I guess. I think he's maybe a Lincoln. I, that's what he looks like to me, but without his top hat. I'm probably wrong, okay? I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys know what he is. What are supposed to do? You're gonna wanna go up here instead of trying to jump over that thing to the right, because I made the mistake earlier of trying that, and I died. I'm not gonna kill you. You don't get anything to kill me using this thing. They don't drop jack. Yeah, watch out for those skulls in the ground. This is gonna hit me. Are we all the way to the end? No. Oh. Any toilet almost got hit. Damn you, barf bag. That's a lot of one. No, 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 no. We got more of those. Okay. How are you doing, toilet piece? Yeah. I'm doing great. This is such a fun time we're having here. Wee! Okay, cool. Oh, we got like. Um, some city power plant looking stuff in the foreground, kind of. Like in between us and the paintings. I didn't notice that until now, believe it or not. The good thing about the platforms is you can run on them, which is kind of cool. And then you can't shoot even when you're, when you're off of them. Oh, that's smiley face. I pointed that out before too. I thought that was pretty neat. I guess, uh, these little decorations here. Of course, this painting. Is it boss time? Okay, this is the boss I was talking about earlier. This boss doesn't have a super predictable pattern, but if you kind of, like, go around in circles with them, it'll be alright. Uh, probably. I don't know. It killed me a couple times earlier. Hey, player! Have you ever seen a skeleton with a balloon instead of a skull? You're seeing it now! Although not for long. Morning. Hit the right one, smile, or you'll lose health. Or hit the correct one, that's what they mean. Hit the correct one, which is smiling, or you'll lose health. Just... Okay. Why are you running? They didn't do that before. Because they saw me? Okay, so not only do they... Every time you shoot one of them, the one that's smiling changes. Every single time. Uh, that is one thing that's really cool about them. Also, every time you shoot them, they change directions. It looks like. Yeah, okay. And they will run at you every now and again. Come on, shoot him. Thank you. Come on, they only got one more health. Okay. in the first circle, but whatever. Either way. This, was, this part's pretty funny. Hello there! So, you've made it this far. You might be wondering what's going on here. Not really. I don't give a shit. Luckily for you, I'm here to explain what's going on. And how everything started. 
I'll tell you about my past and how everything is my fault and how my past choices connect to the plot and villains. The plot and the villains. Also, I'm very smart and I happen to know everything about the plot. Shut up, nerd! It all started 30 years ago, while I was on an expedition in the depths of an eerie and mysterious cave, located in a mysterious and extremely dangerous jungle, full of dangerous creatures that didn't harm me. Back then, I was determined to achieve a dream related to a trauma from my past connected with a bad choice I made regarding a family member slash friend slash loved one that is relevant to the plot. What I found in that cave wasn't hope. It was power. A power far beyond humanity. A power that was so powerful that it could make someone powerful even more powerful. So I decided to... I'm a toilet. <coughs> I'm a toilet. I don't care. I love how the audience cheers for her. Because that was a logical, rational decision to make. But hey, it's a video game. What you, oh, well. City in the background is cool. Uh, this part you have to, like, hold up and then, like, keep pressing right. Or hold right and keep pressing up. Either one works. If you're using the arrow, uh, D-pad or arrow keys, using a joystick, you're gonna want to just push up and then push right and then push up and then push right and then push up and then push right. Or whatever. Right and then up, I guess. Something like that. Anyways. These guys take like seven hits to kill, which is really fun and awesome. Scare message, scare message, scare message! Scare message, scare message. More blood spider things. Toilet he said, I'm great! I'm having a blast! Cool. I'm so happy for you. Thanks! Would you like to have a toilet for a day? Oh, you know, pretty shitty! And would you like to have a mini toilet following you around? Eh. That's cool, I guess. Oh. Oh yeah, most of the enemies in this game, you stand in one spot and you can shoot at them and don't move once you start shooting at them. If, if you get the first hit, especially, they won't hit you. Even if they come right up to you, they're not going to get hit. Which is pretty cool, honestly. I should have mentioned that earlier. Is the last boss. Once we get there, anyway. Which is very, very, very soon. In memory of those who weren't able to submit their entries yet, I believe the last boss is the next room. Yep, here they are. <laughs> Okay. Hello there! Oh, you're here! Who are you and why are you so curvy? I am the generic big-chested demon queen final boss summoned by the cultists in order to do evil stuff. So, I guess I have to kill you then. You? Creepy? Ha! Oh, you're just a toilet, a device created to take poop. Heh, <laughs> you said poop. Uh, there we go. You stand, you stand no chance against the Demon Queen. I will fill this world with blurred NSFW images. But I'm afraid you won't be here to be there to witness them. Funny, epic, and cheesy statement. Warning, I'm afraid this is, this is a trial and error battle, but don't worry. Once you memorize the pattern, you'll be able to beat the boss. Yeah, it took me a few tries, but I was able to do it. I hope this is a good spot to stand. Okay, cool. This is where the mini toilet really messed me up. Uh, I died a few times the first time I fought this boss because of it. Oh, 
Oh, in case, I don't know if I mentioned uh, anything about how I got the game or any of that in the beginning of the take. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Uh, you can get this game on itch.io. Uh, itch, itch.io. Um, oh yeah, I think I did mention that. Now, well, in case I didn't, I'm sorry if I... Uh, did and I'm repeating myself, but uh, you have the option to either get the game for free or uh, make a donation to the author, depending on if you're broke or not, I guess. <laughs> or if you like the author's work or whatever. Um, or if you like the game, I don't know. <sighs> Alright, I'll leave a link to the game in the description below. Yeah. So you guys can try it out if you want. It's pretty fun. Honestly. Kill you in one in one hit, you're dead. So be careful of that. What? It's demon flashing time! Huh. <laughs> That's his own eyes. Huh. Great game. 10 out of 10. Whoa. <laughs> that was fun! Too bad it's already over. But I'm happy because I fulfilled my duty! <laughs> she said duty. Time to go back to the station! <laughs> Hello? Toiletisia? Yes, this is Toiletisia. Do I know you? It's me, your old friend that was just create that was just created for this scene. How have you been? Who? <laughs> oh, how time flies! Anyways, would you like to come with me to a birthday party? Oh, birthday party? I love birthdays! I need some relax after battling evil. <laughs> Trust me, this is going to be an amazing birthday party. It's the birthday of a zombified undead avian! We'll watch obscure low-budget 80s films and there'll also be karaoke! Oh, sounds fun! I will bring some snacks and soda! Cool, I'll see you there then. I'll see you there then. Happy Halloween! Alright guys, that's the end of the game. All this left is credits. Pretty short credit roll. Um, you have the option to hold down uh, the Z button on your keyboard or whatever on your gamepad. Just kind of make it go super fast. Like this. If you guys want to uh, read any of this stuff by any chance, just go ahead and put the timer thing on YouTube down to like 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 or whatever so you can read it. Or just pause. This isn't going that fast. I think it's a pretty fun game. It was worth playing four times, that's for sure. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Even the even the time I just played just now, it was... Remember, toilets have feelings too. That's it, then it just takes you back to the tile screen. 
I thought that was pretty fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope everyone has a fun and safe Halloween. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Have a great...